water, life's blood. Your eyes and ears are on the water known as Goose Creek. Despite its modest sounding name, Goose Creek is actually a state scenic river. This water's significance is boundless. Its legacy is timeless, but the threats to it are relentless. Where on God's green earth is Goose Creek? It starts here, near an enclave called Linden, Virginia, Fauquier County about an hour west of Washington, D.C. Goose Creek awakens on the Blue Ridge, plunges down the mountains, levels off, heads northeast, passes under Route 50 toward Loudoun County to meet up with its big brother, the mighty Potomac, near Leesburg. Along the way, the goose sprouts beautiful tributaries and runs, the North Fork, Little River, Beaver Dam Creek, and more. Truth be told, the Goose is 54 miles long, and its watershed is 385 square miles. But its significance cannot be overstated. Goose Creek is a headwater of the Potomac and part of the Chesapeake Bay watershed. The Goose supplies water to Fauquier and Loudoun counties, as well as to the town of Leesburg. It is life's blood to this region. Life in this region is the stuff of legends, fantastic stories of not just people, but peoples. Native Americans fished the Goose Creek and hunted along its shores. Settlers cleared and planted and harvested. Founding fathers and mothers emerged here. Two presidents, for example. A young George Washington surveyed here. James Monroe built a great estate called Oak Hill along the Goose Creek. The eminent Chief Justice John Marshall was born in Markham near the Goose. Armies fought over this land. In the Civil War, both sides bivouacked here. John Mosby and his rangers made life hell for the Union armies. And the region's peaceful Quakers helped slaves find freedom through the Underground Railroad. It's arguable that no small patch of land and water has such a rich history. Speaking of rich, Loudoun historian and educator Rich Gillespie picks up the Goose's history from a treasured and historic vantage point. What I like about sitting along the old Goose Creek Bridge is imagining all the different people who benefited from this bridge who crossed it. They were the traders who were going to be coming from the Shenandoah Valley all the way to the great seaport of Alexandria. This same bridge would become a major player during the American Civil War when the armies were crossing. People haven't just been going to market and to war on the Goose Creek. They've been fishing, kayaking, tubing, paddling, and swimming in and on this glorious body of water. Another creature tethered to the Goose Creek is the horse. There are more horses along the Goose than anywhere else in Virginia. Here's Olympic medal winner and Goose Creek resident. There's a huge range of equestrian activities in this immediate area, and it ranges from horse racing to fox hunting to horse showing. It really enables those people involved with horses to enjoy the nature and the out of doors. And of course, it's really hard to enjoy nature if you don't have water. The threats to this water are relentless. In the last decades, new residents have flocked to live here and enjoy this beautiful land. But the watershed area still supports an abundance of robust agricultural enterprises. These two truths have consequences, mainly runoff pollutants, including E. coli from livestock and excess fertilizers, not just from farms, but lawns. One way to mitigate these pollutants is to expand conservation easements that protect open spaces. Our Goose Creek neighbor Mike Morenci has this additional wisdom to impart. The advice I would give would be to enter into riparian buffers wherever possible. Here's Marsha Woolman, a dedicated conservationist and neighbor. The project, the tree planting project, we call it the Goose Creek Challenge. 
and the purpose is to try to create more riparian buffers along the tributaries and along Goose Creek to prevent erosion and feces from livestock from getting into the streams. But also when uh, considering fertilizing fields, I take soil tests because uh, excess fertilizer obviously runs off, it runs into the rivers and causes algae blooms. Everything that we do ends up in the river. Some other things end up in the Goose Creek. Tons of trash, especially plastics thrown in by our fellow human beings. One fellow who's been fighting back for decades against this dangerous detrius is neighbor and conservation advocate Marvin Watts. I'm not entirely sure why the idea came to me, but it did. And I organized canoe flotillas on the goose, and I did a single segment every year for five years, including all of the Beaver Dam Reservoir. So just how clean is the goose? To find out, the Goose Creek Association conducts regular stream monitoring tests. We take the water's temperature and monitor the number of tiny animals called macroinvertebrates that indicate the health of the water. Some of the results have been fine, but parts of the goose are what scientists deem impaired. Bottom line, we're watching the goose like a hawk. The Goose Creek also needs concerned and aware neighbors. Here's one, Mayor Quasi Fraser of Purcellville. The town of Purcellville is doing its part, investing money into the maintenance and upkeep of our wastewater treatment facility. The phosphorus and nitrogen flowing from our facility is less than the stringent requirements of the Commonwealth. Development along the Goose Creek is dicey. Every community needs a robust tax base, but a river needs ever-vigilant advocates. Here's Paul Lawrence, Goose Creek Association's co-chair at a Loudoun Board of Supervisors hearing. The vast majority of the speakers that I've heard seem to feel like the Planning Commission has been tone deaf and has really not listened to the will of the people of Loudoun with regard to further residential housing growth. That tone deafness has resulted in a double-digit percent increase in houses along the Goose Creek. As if housing sprawl weren't dangerous enough, mammoth non-housing development in the form of data centers is destroying unique wildlife, plantings, and habitats right next to the goose. Here are a few parting words from our Goose Creek neighbors. It's uh, the lifeline for all wildlife, and it's essential that it maintains its integrity for the years to come. Herman Singh has, who was a well driller in Upperville, had a water truck that water, the lifeblood of the world, and I think that depicts it accurately. It is a very, very special stream in the midst of our Virginia culture, and it bears protecting with every fiber of our bodies. The Goose Creek is a treasure. We've got to treasure it. We leave you with three words about Goose Creek. Significance, legacy, threats. Go to goosecreek.org. Join our mission to preserve and protect the Goose Creek. The Goose Creek is a river. It is life's blood. Take advantage of its life force. Take in its beauty but help us to take care of it.